consistent in your know, knowing God, spending time in prayer, spending time in the Word. That is when you know the other sides that God has. That is when you know, ah, when God is like this, develop that kind of a relationship with God. Amen. And someone may ask, how do we really get to know God? Amen. We get to know God as we spend time in communion and fellowship with Him. Amen. Have that quality time every day of your life. That quality time of spending God, of spending time with God. Amen. And it's the same thing that happens as we are people. You can really get to know anyone by spending time in His or her, in His or her presence. Amen. You can't say you know God when you don't spend time with Him. You can't say you know someone when you don't spend time with Him. Amen. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 5, verse 22 to 24. It says, And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 365 years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Amen. The part that I love there is Enoch walked with God. May that be said about you. That so and so walked with God until he was not. Amen. May we not be found wanting when the time comes. Amen. So let us cultivate fellowship and friendship with him every time. Amen. We also get to know him as we listen to him speaking to us. Amen. When friends get together, they talk and listen to one another and spending time with God and spending time with God regularly. He speaks to us and through his word and we hear his voice. Amen. Amen. So God, God really speaks, people of God. Our Father always teaches us that um, God is like a radio. No matter how much you talk and do what, 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 the radio keeps on talking. Keeps on talking. But because of the noises around, you end up not hearing what the radio is saying. Amen. So God is only speaking to us, but it is up to you and me to keep quiet and listen to what the devil is saying. Amen. Praise the Lord. We also get to know him by speaking to him. So fellowship is mutual. Naturally, as people, if you have a friend who's always talking about themselves, yeah, me like this, me like that, I said, come back, I said, you don't even get time to talk about yourself. We, we get irritated by those people and just want to avoid them somehow, 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 amen. So that's the same thing that happens to us and God. When you go to God, open up your heart and open up your lips to pray. But there is a time that you must keep quiet so that you hear what he's also saying to you. That is when he gives you an instruction to do something, amen. So fellowship is mutual. We talk to God and he talks back to us. Amen. The book of Psalm 55, verse 16 to 17. The book of Psalms 55, verse 16 to 17. It reads, David says, As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. Verse 17. Evening and morning and noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. Amen. So fellowship is mutual. You talk to God and he talks back to you. Amen. We also get to know him by observing his, his ways of working. Amen. We know God as we see what he does and how he does it. I call these practical experiences. Amen. When you come into the house of God, when you come into the presence of God, whatever that he does to you, those are practical experiences. Whatever he uses, the men of God, our pastors, whenever they pray for you, whenever you see demons manifesting in what part, those, that's the other way that you get to know the other side of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands for Jesus. So all this should make you ask yourself, how much do I know you? Amen. Amen. For the measure of our knowing will determine the measure of our being and the measure of our doing. Amen. Amen. Number two, knowing God will make us strong, as it is written in the book of Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. The more we know him, the stronger we become. Amen. Shall we be stronger physically? Yes. 
Shall we be strong like spiritually? Yes. Morally? Yes. Because He is the source of our physical as well as our spiritual lives. Amen. Praise the Lord. Remember Daniel in the lion's den. He knew his God. That's why the lions could not eat him. Amen. Remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fair furnace. They were not bent because they knew their God. Amen. Even if that problems come to you, you must be confident and be able to know your God. Look at that problem and say to you, as long as the Lord has not ordained this, it shall not come to pass in my life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So we become stronger in our confidence in Him. Amen. Whenever you have a problem, sometimes you don't even need to call the prophet because you know he who is inside you. Amen. We shall become stronger in our power to meet and overcome temptation and evil. Amen. As people, we are weak sometimes because we do not know God enough. We easily panic. It does not and you're, you're right everywhere. You're right tired. You're tired. Life is evil. Because you don't know who you serve. Yes. Praise God. And so we must always make sure that we know God. We shall become stronger in our ability to be a strength to others. Amen. The book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28 to 31. It says, Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary, there is no searching of his understanding, he giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. For even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. Verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. I do that. When we are strong, we shall do exploits. Celebrate it. Hallelujah. And as I said earlier on, that an exploit is a heroic deed. Amen. And the Bible is full of illustrations of men and women who did exploits for God. Remember Gideon and his 300. We get that from the book of Judges, chapter 7. Remember Samson. We get that from the book of Judges, chapter 14. Remember Elijah on Carmel from the book of 1 Kings chapter 18. Amen. Think also of the apostles who think also of the apostles who hazarded their lives for the name of the Lord and turned the world upside down. Amen. Amen. The book of Acts chapter 17, verse 6. Hallelujah. Amen. Do I have people in this house? Yes. Hallelujah. Are we happy to be here? Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And when they found them not, they drew Jason and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying, Please, that have turned the world upside down. And we have also, ah, we celebrate Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you want to know more about that one, you have to see Minister Pupe. That one you know is very well. Hallelujah. Amen. We shall find ourselves walking in the footsteps of men like George Mula. Praise God. Only if we stay in prayer. The, 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 the footsteps of women like Catherine Kuhlman. Amen. Because we, we are a generation that wants to stay in prayer. Amen. We also undertake experts by witnessing. Amen. Being a soul winner. Witness to someone. Sometimes you have to go to the and the